Welcome to this solo travel vlog where I spent a full 24 hours alone in London. First things first, I had to go and make myself a cup of coffee because I feel like I won't get out of bed unless I have something to look forward to. So that's exactly what I did this morning. I took my time, enjoyed my cuppa before going to make my bed or I guess my sofa bed is a better way to refer to it. Also, when traveling, I feel like I love having just a little bit of a routine, having something that keeps me feeling in check or just not as homesick. So I answered some emails and then went to wash my face. If you've watched some of my other content, I'm huge into health and wellness. But I don't believe you need to be so strict with yourself or obsessed with needing to be healthy. Sometimes it just feels good to have a little bit of movement in the morning, so I did this 20 minute Pilates from this YouTuber who I'm linking down in the description. But as I mentioned, I never feel like I have to work out when traveling. It just makes me feel like I have higher energy levels, better mood, and it really just combats jet lag whenever I do even just a small amount of movement. Also, this workout looked easy, but it actually made me sweat, like so much more than I anticipated. So highly recommend this video of hers. I'm probably gonna be doing this workout throughout my month of travel. But another good reminder is if you're vacationing or solo traveling or whatever, you're probably actually more active than normal because you're walking everywhere, you're exploring a new place, so you shouldn't feel any pressure or like you have to work out. YouTube channel. <laughs> I always feel so weird saying that because I've never seen myself as being like a YouTuber kind of girl. Anyways, <laughs> I'm in London right now for the next 24 hours. I'm traveling to Croatia tomorrow, but I'm totally alone traveling London solo and I thought it would be fun to take you with me and kind of just like spend a day treating myself, taking myself out on a date, and really just practicing how to be alone. I'm currently staying at my friend's apartment. She's going to Croatia today earlier than me. Um, also, side note, if you've been subscribed to me, you might know this, but if not, and if you're new here, welcome. I used to travel a lot with my ex-boyfriend, and if you've seen some of my other travel videos, you would see that. And I haven't been single since I was 18 years old, so traveling alone and also just like, learning how to be alone kind of like some video concepts i've made in the past is really new to me but is a really rewarding experience so i thought i would continue this topic because i think a lot of young girls especially in your mid-20s whether you've been in a relationship or you've just been like a constant like socializer like you've always been in friend groups or constantly surrounded yourself with people it can be kind of terrifying to go off and do things entirely solo. So I'm hopeful that this can help girls, guys, anyone. I like this concept of building yourself up so that the right people come to you. And I think that's the whole purpose of me talking about this. Every single time I spend an extended amount of time with myself alone, I feel like I build my confidence and my self-worth to be higher so i think it's really healthy to practice that with all of that said let's go get the day started i'm gonna go and get some donuts because i'm craving something sweet and apparently there's a donut place that's like quite popular around london called crossroads wait alex do you know what the is it called crossroads or what's it called i've never been but that sounds familiar okay crossroads donuts so we're going there first <laughs> i would like to take a pause here and thank jenny kane for supporting today's video I'm in love with this cashmere sweater and it's perfect timing honestly because fall is on its way. Jenny Kane is a California brand through and through. Their staples make getting dressed easier than ever before. Think minimal and effortless, but refined. I'm obsessed with this cropped sweater of mine and I've already gotten so many compliments. 
Besides from being extremely soft and cozy, I feel like it adds this really cute coastal look to my wardrobe. It's honestly the perfect everyday sweater that I can pair with anything. From luxurious cashmere sweaters to elevated basics, Jenny Kane is here to help you live your best season yet. And for a limited time, you can get 15% off your first order when you go to JennyKane.com and use the code MORGAN to get 15% off. With so many options to choose from, the opportunities are endless with how you can add to your wardrobe. I'm like filming sitting on the floor. I actually hate filming intros. Oh, that's so nice. Wait, it's, it's so funny. cute to hear you. Hi. When you were, you know, I was like, I was like, oh shit, she about to dig deep with this one. <laughs> She's like, when I'm on my own. <laughs> when I'm on my own. And then you guys are like, yeah. <laughs> my friend Alex lent me her earrings and I have a silver ring that I randomly found in my purse. But I'm trying to figure out if I'm a silver girly or a gold girly. I don't know. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Taking the tube in London is actually so easy and affordable. I just used Google Maps wherever I was going and it gave me the right route. I took the train to Soho and I stopped in this record shop just because it looks cool. And I was actually gonna buy a record, but then I decided I shouldn't because I wasn't gonna fit it into my suitcase. I then walked to this donut shop that one of my followers actually recommended and I got to meet with her. This was our first time meeting. We had been in conversation for like the last two years and she had said I really helped her with her relationship with food. So it was just really amazing to get to meet her in person. We shared this box of donuts and my favorite was this passion fruit one. It had thick icing in the middle. I'm more of a moist dessert kind of girl. So I love a dessert that has like a lot of icing or just like is not dry basically. I then walked from Soho to Chinatown and then to Covent Garden. And it was nice getting to explore and play tourist for a little bit. I just got back and I did some work. I'm chewing some bubble gum right now. And I just want to say, why is filming yourself in public so awkward? Like you get used to it, but there's something about filming in London where I just know everyone's staring at me and thinking that I'm an influencer. Like I don't want to give off that impression. So I feel really uncomfortable. I hate it. <laughs> But I came back, did some work, chewing some bubble gum. I'm actually, it's like a thick piece of bubble gum. I'm chewing the like hubba bubba, and I love hubba bubba, but it's a mouthful. Wow. <laughs> but I'm actually gonna go meet a guy friends for some burgers right now, which sounds really good. This has just been like a day of fun eats in London. I think self-care and self-love can be as simple as like giving yourself the food you love, honoring your cravings, like treating yourself out to like a really good meal. I know it's not good to be an emotional eater, but food can be really healing. I think how I look at it is there's some foods that are really nourishing for the body and some foods that are just really good for the soul. So I'm having a soul food day and it's amazing and I'm loving it. Something I sometimes struggle with with being alone is how do I fill my time and my thoughts when I'm like sitting on the train and just sitting there totally alone because I try not to like scroll on social media too much or being on your phone too much can just be adding to this comparison. So I think I struggle with like not even struggle but I'm trying to like get back to listening to audiobooks, listening to podcasts because right now I just like blast music which is still nice, but I've like listened to the same songs on repeat 
and I'm getting kind of bored of them. And I just need something more wholesome to do when I'm sitting on the train alone. Also, I had to buy wire earphones because I lost my AirPods case, which is so annoying, but whatever. It was fine and gave me a little bit of a throwback. Also, you can see here, I was so embarrassed filming myself. I need to get over that, but I just felt like everyone was looking at me. I walked to go meet up with a friend for burgers. I just feel like this is such a comfort and like self-love kind of food. I think it's hilarious that I had a single and he had to get two doubles. Men and their metabolisms, right? Like, gosh. Uh, can I say that on video? What? I can't believe you're eating two burgers though. It's crazy. Big boy. <laughs> I ate my whole burger, but I don't know why. I was just walking and still felt hungry. So I got some chicken breast that they sell sold at the local grocery store. So I'm gonna snack on this. <laughs> A little protein snack. <laughs> really? It's actually kind of good. <laughs> the, like plain chicken. <laughs> so to recap my solo day in London, it's been honestly really relaxing and nice just to like have time to myself and be able to enjoy good food. I It's currently 10 p.m. and I have to get ready. Tomorrow I'm traveling to Croatia and I feel that like pre-travel excitement of like, I don't know if I'm gonna sleep that well, partly because it's super hot and also partly because I'm really excited. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to like try to like calm down by watching a TV show and drink some tea. But yeah, it's been such an amazing day and I'm really excited. You'll probably see my Croatia vlog soon on my channel. Yeah, it's been fun. I've like sweated off all my makeup. <laughs> gonna go shower and then get ready for bed. <laughs> the bag is like half packed for Croatia and half of my stuff is hanging up and drying. I hope you enjoyed this solo travel vlog. I'm going to Croatia next so stay tuned for that video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.